Hey everybody, got another Bible to show you guys today. This is this is somewhat of a concept Bible, uh, like a a model example of what's coming for church Bible publishers. Uh, this is the Platinum series, and uh, this is the Red Letter Note Takers edition. But this is uh, this is going to be kind of an example of what's coming. Uh, there's going to be a few differences, uh, not much, but th like this edition's got two ribbons. Uh, the note that I've got uh, will be that the final edition's got, it will have three ribbons. They also said that the edition will have art gilding. Uh, now, all of the Church Bible Publisher Bibles will have this light brown, almost looks like a shadow of the gold. Um, that's technically art gilding. But I'm not sure if they're, that's what they're considering as art gilding. So we'll just, I'm assuming that that's already technically art gilded, but it might be a different, an additional color underneath. So they're, they're using another binder uh, to make the cover and uh, put it all together. So I, I didn't have any information on who made the cover, but it looks... And forgive me if I'm wrong, it looks a lot like Andrew Jensen's work with AA Leather. I've seen a lot of his rebinds and a lot of his work. He does exceptional work, exceptional work. But it looks like the font he uses and it looks like the style he does, his his, uh, his ribs. And also, especially his style. Not a lot of people use the style where it's, this is neither... Uh, this is neither a paste, well, it's, it's a paste down technically, but this is neither a, a fold over or a paste over. This is where the liner and the cover leather meet together, where there's no, uh, there's no, um, uh, hump there. So like on a, uh, a, a fold over edition, uh, you'll have the, the cover leather folding over the liner leather which is underneath and that's not the case and on a typical paste down or paste over the liner leather will actually paste over this this cover leather is folded over and then the liner leather pastes over top of it that's not the case here either it's just a it's a different style of uh making the cover now i think it's very durable and I know that if this is from AA Leather, he guarantees all his work and he does an exceptional job. So as far as construction, it's it's really well done and uh, and it, uh, Bravo did really well. So just some, uh, some details about this cover. This is a water buffalo. Now that that's not the texture, okay? The, the leather itself, the water buffalo, it can be like a calf skin. So it looks like it has a tech, a feel of calf skin. Now that's a thicker leather, but this, uh, this distressed look is, is like an antique, uh, uh, finish. Okay. So don't think that all water Buffalo looks like this. Okay. Cause the, this is not the grain that you see. This is an actual, uh, it's like a, an antiquing, or a, uh, a finishing of the leather. So the leather itself is like a really fine grain, uh, really fine grain. So just so you, you're aware that these separations, those are wrinkles. They're not separations between grain. So uh, because th they did the same, uh, the pr producer of the leather used the same method to do, to do this cowhide. So this, this, this cowhide has a different texture then the water buffalo and it and it has the same finish, the same antiquing uh, kind of pattern. So you can kind of see the similarities, even though the, the cover is water buffalo and the liner is cowhide. So just so everybody's aware, you know, if if you know there, there can be a water buffalo that's smooth, if it's a if it's a young uh, young calf. Uh, you can also have a water buffalo that's very, very grainy. Um, you know, so it just depends on the animal. Uh, they all differ. So I just wanted to clear that up. 
so you can see the spine has five raised ribs, uh, nicely tooled, and uh, you have the authorized King James stamped in Holy Bible and CBP on the cover. Like I said earlier, the note that I received from Church Bible Publishers is that this will have three ribbons. I love the gold. Uh, these gold ribbons are uh, three eighths inch or, or 10 millimeter, close to 10 millimeter ribbons, uh, double, sat, double sided satin. So it's really nice ribbons and uh, you'll really enjoy them. Um, so when we open it up, you have the, like I said, the cowhide liner. Uh, they do a really good job on the corner work. Very consistent work. Uh, very, very nicely done. And for 125 that's what these are going to be going for. Uh, at least the initial production line. That's a steal, folks. 125 for an, an, a leather line. Now, this is leather. Most of the Church Bible Publisher Bibles, uh, maybe all, except for the goat skin lines that are produced by uh, Post Tenderbox Lux, these are, these are going to be, uh, most of the Church Bible Publisher lines are going to have a uh, synthetic liner. Just It saves money. And you have the really thin uh, calf skin. This is a thicker leather with a thick leather liner. Uh, it's going to be much more durable even than your typical church Bible publisher uh, line. And the, the leather is going to be a little more durable than uh, their typical calf skin. Uh, now, the top grain cowhide might be a little more durable than this, uh, but it's going to hold its own. This, this leather is going to hold up really nicely. So, And it's got a good thick... I'm not sure if Andrew uh, puts a medium between the cover and liner like a, a stiffener sometimes they'll use a thin piece of cloth uh, or something like that to to give some body to this cover but it's got a lot of body okay so this is a thick cover much thicker than any other church bible publisher edition that you've ever held so uh anyway and he's got this uh this end sheet it's like a leather end sheet it's glued in. You can see it's edge lined, of course. And on the back, it'll show the uh, water buffalo stamped in, nicely stamped in to the back liner. And there's the back cover. So this this review is just going to basically go over the uh, the cover option, which is the platinum series. Uh, I'm going to do a separate review of this. Uh, the single column note takers and uh and i'm going to do a separate review of that because we're already at eight minutes of video so uh anyway this edition will come in the red letter note takers as well as the red letter turquoise so as far as, far as right now it'll be available in those two book blocks um but they're going to be on limited quantities, just a prob probably very similarly how they do the uh, goat skin editions, kind of a, um, you know, order, you order it and then it's produced uh, so they don't keep a ton of these expensive Bibles. Now, trust me, this is expensive work. And I'm like I said, again, I'm going to say it again, 125 for this Bible with this cover is an absolute steal because it's it's exceptional work from an exceptional binder um i mean people pay a lot more to rebind their bibles with aa and it's uh it's it's incredible work so just so you're aware all right so i'm gonna i'm gonna cut this one off there and and just kind of uh let you guys look at it again we'll go around it but again the platinum series will be this leather lined cover with this similar construction, uh, it'll have three ribbons instead of two, and they'll be art gilding. And like I said, again, I'm not really sure if they're going to count that brown underspray as their art gilding, or if it'll be a different color. So I'm sure we'll find out from Church Bible Publishers soon. Um, this Bible was sent to me from Church Bible Publishers because this is a concept Bible. So they sent this Bible to several reviewers. So I'm going to mail this off to 
uh, another reviewer, um, you know, next. So that's why I haven't really spent a lot of time with this Bible, uh, but I'm going to try to make a couple videos with it while I have it. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to check out Church Bible Publishers. Uh, it's an awesome ministry. They produce Bibles for uh, folks at cost. So please, if you order a Bible from Church Bible Publishers, consider adding a little bit to it and, and adding to their uh, ministry. Uh, it's just an incredible ministry to be able to produce Bibles for God's people. Thank you guys again. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and, and click the little bell for notifications. I've got a lot of reviews coming up and tutorials and all kind of cool stuff. So just make sure you're not missing out on, on some videos. So thank you guys again. God bless.